Coming up is the most comprehensive example for accounting treatment for account receivable. Okay, in this tutorial, what you will learn? You will learn how to record credit sales, how to record collection from account receivable, how to record write-off, how to record bad debt recovery, and the last one, how to record adjustment for allowance for double debt. In all of these, we will be using allowance method. To understand the technique, we will be answering one sample questions. The link for the sample questions is attached below in description. The sample question is about one company operating in 2019. Okay, now let's do the first instruction required by the questions. The first one, the questions ask you to show a general entry to record all the transaction in the questions. Okay, we will record the transaction in a general journal. Having information from the questions, we will be recording the first transaction, that is, credit sales. So now, when credit sales happen, it will increase the account receivable. Hence, we will debit the account receivable. Next, we will credit the sales account since sales increase. And don't forget to write your narration to the transaction. Next, we will be going to record the collection from account receivable. We put 2019 for the date and we debit bank as indication that we receive money. Next, we will credit account receivable as the account receivable decrease. Next, we are going to record the bad debt right off. This is happened when the account receivable unable to pay the obligation. What we will do is, we will debit allowance for the upper debt and we will credit account receivable. Something could happen later. What will be happening now is, we are recording bad debt recovered. This is the bad debt that those days we already written off, but now able to pay the account. What we will do now is we have to debit account receivable in order to appear that account that we already written off before. And we will credit allowance for doubtful debt in order to emerge the account receivable in our books. And later, we will debit bank as indication that our money is increased. And again, we will credit the same account receivable to reduce the amount. Okay, next, we are going to answer the second part of the instruction, the questions. The questions ask you to show a general entry to record adjustment for account receivable. To answer the question, we will be preparing account receivable. Given the journal that we already recorded just now, we will be using the amount to transfer to the account. 
Now, we start with the beginning balance given in the questions. The beginning balance for account receivable is 1 million. Now, we will be recording the amount in the debit side. We write bring forward and 1 million. Next, we are going to record the amount that we recorded in the journal just now. The first journal is debit account receivable. We will be using account sale as the opponent word that we are going to record in account receivable. Now we go to the next journal. The next journal is about the collection of the money we receive from account receivable. This will reduce account receivable. Then we will be recording the amount in the credit side with the word bank. Now we move to the next channel. The next channel is about return of amount. This will decrease the account receivable. Then we will credit the amount for account receivable using the word allowance for doubtful debt. And the last channel that we will transfer to this account is the channel about the account receivable recovery. This will increase the account receivable. We will record the word allowance for double debt at the debit side of the account receivable. At the same time, when we receive the account receivable, we will reduce again the same amount. And now we are going to credit the amount at the credit side of the account receivable with the word bank. Now we will do balancing for this account by totaling the debit and credit side and looking for the difference. And we find out that the difference is at the credit side. So the balance for the account receivable is such amount 1,235,000. Okay, next we will be going to prepare allowance for doubtful debt account. What we have to do first is we will be recording the first amount that is the beginning balance for that account 60,000. The 60,000 should be credited at the account of allowance for double debt and then we start to record to transfer from the journal we prepared related to the allowance for double debt. Next, we will be transferring the journal that decreased the allowance for doubtful debt due to the return of figure of account receivable. Later, we will record and transfer the increase of allowance for doubtful debt because of the account receivable recovery. Next, we will be recording the carried forward figure for that account. To get that number, Please be reminded that stated in the question that allowance for doubtful debt is 5% from account receivable. Now, to get that number, we will cut back to our account receivable before. That carried forward figure is 1,235,000. That number, we will multiply with 5% to get the carried forward figure for the allowance for doubtful debt. Now, it's our turn 
to balance the account, only to know that there is a missing figure to complete the account of allowance for double debt. That missing figure will be at the credit side. To increase the amount for allowance for double debt, then we need to recognize an expense, what we call now is bad debt expense. Okay, now please be noticed the number 41,750. That is the new expense that we just recognized. This is the number that we need to use it to adjust the account for allowance for doubtful debt in our adjustment entries. The record will be the debit, bad debt expense, and the credit side allowance for doubtful debt. Okay, next, we are going to answer the last part of the instruction required by the questions. The questions ask you to show statement of financial position partial as at 31st December 2019. Okay, to start our statement, we will be mentioning the title of the statement as at 31st December 2019 and under current asset, we will state our account receivable balance. As you can see, that account receivable balance is in the red box. The amount is one million two hundred and thirty-five thousand. Okay, next we will minus allowance for doubtful debt ending balance. We will be getting the number from the account allowance for doubtful debt carried forward figure we just prepared. See, you can see the number sixty-one thousand seven hundred and fifty. Now, as you can see, the amount after we minus the allowance for that for that, that is the amount is still collectible of account receivable. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you for watching and learning. Hope to see you soon.